Together, they power applications in diagnostics, fraud detection, and beyond. By combining these approaches, AI becomes more versatile and powerful, capable of addressing a wide range of challenges. Hello and welcome to Being Passionate Learner. I'm Dr. Padmapani Tribhuan and I'm excited to have you here. On this channel, we explore topics that inspire curiosity and expand understanding. And today's topic is no exception. We are diving into forward and backward reasoning, which are two essential techniques at the core of artificial intelligence. From understanding their processes to uncovering real-world applications, this video will provide you with a clear and engaging overview of how these methods power intelligent systems. So, let's get started and uncover the logic behind AI reasoning. Motivation Why should we study forward and backward reasoning? Because these methods enable machines to solve problems just like we humans do. Whether diagnosing a disease, solving a puzzle, or answering complex questions, these reasoning techniques form the backbone of AI-powered systems. They are everywhere, from the medical expert system to search engines. Now let's take an overview of reasoning techniques. Deductive reasoning Deductive reasoning starts with a general rule and derives a specific conclusions. Forward and backward reasoning are both forms of deductive reasoning but they differ in approach. Forward reasoning is data-driven, while backward reasoning is goal-driven. Let's begin with the forward reasoning. Forward reasoning begins with facts. It applies inference rules to generate new facts, following a systematic data-driven process. This is essentially useful when you have a data, but no specific end goal in mind. For example, starting from known symptoms, Forward reasoning can help deduce potential diseases in a patient. Now let's look at simple example. Consider we have following facts. All cats are mammals. All mammals are warm-blooded. Tom is a cat. Using forward reasoning, we can conclude that Tom is warm-blooded. This process works sequentially, applying inference rules step by step to arrive at the conclusion. Applications of forward reasoning Forward reasoning finds applications in a variety of fields including expert systems for medical diagnostics, legal analysis, and financial decision making. Workflow automation, helping industries to streamline processes and predictive maintenance. Early decision making, exploring all the possible outcomes from the available data. Now let's see what is backward reasoning. Backward reasoning works in opposite direction. Instead of starting with facts, it begins with the goal or hypothesis and it traces back to verify supporting evidence. This method is efficient when the goal is clear, making it perfect fit for the targeted problem-solving task. Backward reasoning example. Now let us revisit our earlier example but with a goal-driven approach. Our goal is to prove that Tom is warm-blooded. We will follow steps. The first step would be check if Tom is a mammal. Then verify if mammals are warm-blooded. And based on this, we will be able to conclude Tom is warm-blooded. Backward reasoning ensures every step is validated, working backward from the goal to confirm its accuracy. Applications of backward reasoning Logical reasoning, that is question answering system, for example, chatbots. It is used in programming like Prolog, which is used to solve complex logical queries. Next is fraud detection and targeted problem solving. Key differences. Now let's see how forward and backward reasoning differ. We will use four different aspects to compare forward and backward reasoning. First is approach. Forward reasoning is data-driven, while backward reasoning is goal-driven. Starting point. Forward reasoning starts with facts. Backward reasoning begins with the goal. Use case. Forward reasoning is great for exploring possibilities, 
while backward reasoning is ideal for targeted problem solving. Efficiency Forward reasoning is more computationally extensive, whereas backward reasoning is more efficient for clear goals. Both methods are valuable and are more chosen based on the problem context. Now let's explore hybrid reasoning, which combines the strength of forward and backward reasoning. For example, in medical diagnostic system, forward reasoning identifies potential diseases based on symptoms and backward reasoning narrows down and confirms the most likely diagnosis using additional evidence. This combination creates a balanced and effective framework for solving complex problems, making hybrid reasoning a game changer in AI systems. Challenges and Limitations while both techniques have their strengths, they also face limitations. Forward reasoning. Forward reasoning can be computationally expensive with large data set. Backward reasoning struggles when goals are unclear. Hybrid systems require careful integration to work effectively. Despite these challenges, their combined use can address many real-world problems. We have explored forward and backward reasoning, which are two fundamental techniques in AI. Forward reasoning starts with the facts to explore possibilities, while backward reasoning work backward from a goal to verify it. Together, they power applications in diagnostics, fraud detection, and beyond. By combining these approaches, AI becomes more versatile and powerful, capable of addressing a wide range of challenges. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I would love to hear your thoughts or questions, so feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Being passionate learner, keep learning. Thank you.